This episode has been full of relatively easy DIYs that make a major impact in your home. And this next one is no exception. It's another lighting project that doesn't require much of an electrical education. And ACE expert Mike Jakubowski is here to show me the steps. Right now you're gonna show us how to convert a can light to a pendant. Exactly, and it requires no electrical skills at all. If you can screw in a light bulb, you can do this project. Well, if there's one thing I'm skilled at, it's having no skills. Excellent. Hey, if I've learned anything, it's that your DIY project is only as good as your tools and supplies. And in order to transform this recessed can light into a pendant, believe it or not, we only need a few things. A screwdriver, a drill, a pair of needle nose pliers, and a recessed can converter. This kit cost us about 20 bucks. As with any project where electricity is involved, we recommend turning off your electricity at the box just to be safe. But Mike says just turning the light off at the switch should be fine. We're simply replacing the bulb with a socket that hooks up to the next light fixture. The beauty of this project is that it works with any pendant light you want to see in your home. You can even use it to install a chandelier, anything up to 35 pounds. So I'm going to climb up on the ladder, Okay. take out the light bulb. I'm going to pull down the plaster ring. There are two springs uh, here and here. Uh, they could be anywhere in there. They simply spring, squeeze together. And that's all that's holding that that's in there? That's it. That's okay. all that's holding that in there. A couple of clips in there, we won't need that anymore. Next, Mike screws in the converter. And just like that, we have the wiring necessary to hook up our new pendant. But we still need something to hang it from. There's a bracket that's going to go in the can light to hold the, the fixture that we're adding. This is going to go like this, stretch it across the fixture, and we're going to put a screw on one side and the other. There's a cover plate that goes on here. This is going to slip over the clips and twist it. It's going to sit there. You need to pull the wires through here. That one we're going to put on later. Now we need to get the pendant fixture itself. We're less than five minutes into this project, and we're ready for our pendant. When you're making your electrical connections, uh, you're going to use a wire nut, similar to that. You're going to twist the wires together, and black to black, white to white. The wire nut is not holding the wires together. Yeah. You have to twist the wires, and then this is simply an insulator between the bare wire and the metal fixture. The electrical component of this project is done. Now Mike screws in the bracket, which will attach to the pendant. The top part of the bracket attaches to the conversion kit. The bottom part has screws that will pop through the base of the pendant to hold it in place against the ceiling. Okay, if we hung this right now, this would be a pendant light for the dog bowl. Yes. So we're gonna pull it up. We got all sorts of space for extra wire. All of this gets tucked up into the can light fixture. Remember that white decorative plate that we set aside earlier? Mike pulls that over the cord and places it against the ceiling while we screw the base of the pendant securely into place. Now we'll take our decorative glass globe. Let's not drop that one. Nope. There's a ring on here. Okay. This is going to go right over this ceramic sleeve. Okay, I'm going to hold this for you. I appreciate that. And then this ring is going to simply hold the glass globe on. Put the light bulb back in there. There you go. Now, Ryan, if you've done everything correctly, when you flip the switch, you should have a beautiful pendant light instead of the old can light. All right, let's see if it works. Oh. Ta-da! Ah, look at that, there Mike. It. it works. This easy project can make a huge visual impact in your home. And for 20 bucks for this conversion kit, you can make any canned light in your house a pendant. Thanks a lot, Mike.